What's going on guys? Josh Sykes back with you for OutdoorNewsAmerica.com. As always, if you like the content we're producing, if you like our short little product review videos, go ahead, give us a thumbs up, click the subscribe button down below, leave us a question. We'll do our best to always answer it. So today in the studio, I wanted to talk with you about something that uh, I've been wanting to get in my hands for a little bit, and that is the VersaCarry OWB outside the waistband holster. I wanted to get a holster for my shield. Um, I, I love the shield. I did a video on the shield here a while back. All the time I'm on the internet, every time I'm on social media, I see ads pop up for VersaCarry leather holsters. And the price point is very, very good. I mean, I was able to pick this one up for less than $20. Uh, which I thought was fantastic. I want to kind of give you guys a little uh, close-up there. You can see backside, there's a belt clip here, belt clip here, so your belt's going to go through here, and then, uh, excuse me, go down this way, and then you're going to be able to clip it right there through your belt, and you'll have it there. So it's got a place for an extra magazine. Took the magazine out of the firearm to put over here just to kind of show you uh, what that was like. So, let me give you my impressions of this. Uh, at first, when I got this thing in the mail, which by the way, it arrived about five, six days after ordering, so it came really quickly, which was a plus. So let's give VersaCarry a, a thumbs up on shipping time. Uh, came very quickly. Um, I would call this a minimalist holster, uh, to be honest with you, because when it showed up, I was very worried. Um, it was flat, it was stiff, um, really had no um, special uh, design for this specific handgun. This specific handgun, you, when, you, when you order from VersaCarry, you go through and you pick um, your handgun and it'll give you a size. So I think this size of OWB holster will fit a variety of handguns, probably the Hellcat, Probably the Shield, probably the Glock 42, Glock 43 would all fit in this same uh, holster model. So when I got this in, it was super flat, it was super rigid, it was super hard. I was not very impressed. Um, but then again, I didn't give but 20 bucks for this thing, including shipping. So I wasn't super impressed with it, so I opened the box. I read the instructions, and the instructions said for 48 hours to, to put your handgun, I mean, you can see there how thin that is. Uh, that's how it arrived. So 48 hours, it said to put your handgun in the holster, let it sit, work it around. Uh, hopefully, the holster will kind of acclimate uh, to the form of the handgun. So I did that. Uh, worked it around, wore it around the office for a little while to kind of kind of get it broken in. And um, yeah, I want to give you my final thoughts on it. Um, would I recommend this holster? Not really. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, if you're going to spend $25, $30 on this holster, I think you could spend $40 and get a much better holster. Will this holster work? Yeah, absolutely. There are some things I do like about the holster. I love the design. I like the mag holder in the front. I like uh, for an outside the waistband holsters fine. I like how the leather uh, comes up over the back to kind of cover any beaver tail there, uh, you know, to keep that gun from gouging in your side. Uh, it does, I will say, I'm gonna give VersaCarry some credit. Uh, it does uh, fit a little mold better on the handgun now that it's been in there for a while and it's had my body heat on it to kind of acclimate the firearm to uh, the holster. Um, I have seen holsters that I like much worse. Let me say that. Um, this is better than a neoprene holster probably. Uh, not neoprene, but a nylon holster. Uh, ne you know, this is probably a step up from a belly band. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Step up from a belly band. If, it, if, you're, if, you're, if you're in, if you're in the market for a quick holster to get you by, something that you can have for a gun that you don't carry every day, I'm going to say this would be a, a decent option. But my worry for this holster is as you wear it, as the leather softens, 
that your gun's gonna fall out the bottom side. I mean, there's no way to avoid, uh, there's no retention in this. Uh, as you wear this, leather stretches. Anybody that has worn holsters for a long period of time, you, you, you understand that leather, as it gets wet from body moisture, from sweat, longevity of wear, this leather is going to become more and more pliable. And when it does, my worry is this firearm is going to fall out. If you were to have an altercation, you get knocked down, you get pushed down, you fall down, you take your pants down to use the bathroom, I'm afraid your firearm is going to fall out. Now, at first, where it is now, that's not going to happen. I mean, I can turn this upside down and shake it. You know, gun's not going anywhere in that holster right now. But as, it, as you go on through time, I think you may run into something like that, and that could be a major issue. But all in all, you know, for the money, for what this holster costs, um, it, it is neat. It's got some really nice aesthetics to it. Um, you know, so I hate to say I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, I've enjoyed wearing it. It's been fine as an outside the waistband holster. Um, but like I said, I think you can get a better holster for your money. So if you're looking for something affordable that is uh, to get you by something quick to put your firearm in, the VersaCarry options are there. They're available. Pretty nice uh, on that front. If you're looking for a longevity, if you're looking for something that is really going to keep your firearm secure over a long period of time, I think you can do a little bit better. That's just my honest opinion. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, we'll talk to you soon.